Now, the India-China border standoff, it appears, is not likely to end in a hurry. Tensions are still running pretty high. The line of actual control is expected to remain active for many months to come. Because India, of course, won't stop border road construction and China's reactions haven't been that of a mature power. We've seen as to how jittery China has become, but let's actually meet troubles halfway. Let's focus on what's at hand and put the big developments in perspective. So let's start with the latest. There is more news of activity along the line of actual control again. The People's Liberation Army, it is being reported, is conducting large-scale military exercises. Now, it is said to be testing its firepower of its troops, rather exhibiting the firepower of its troops. Now, the images that you're looking on your screens are from the Tibet Autonomous Region. Dozens of tanks and armed vehicles were seen taking part in these drills here. The theatrics haven't stopped. All right, so that was the Chinese, but on the Indian side as well, there's been quite a bit of movement. The Indian Air Force is moving fighter jets to forward bases. It's deployed the newly acquired Apache attack helicopters in Ladakh, along with the upgraded MiG-29s. Other critical frontline sets, such as the Sukhoi-30 MKI, the Mirage 2000 and the Jaguar fighter jets have also been moved into advanced positions. Now, the outposts are being monitored frequently. The Indian forces say that they are fully prepared for any kind of misadventurism from the PLA. The New Delhi is putting speculation to rest. For over three days, there were reports about Indian soldiers being in Chinese custody, that they were being held hostage by the PLA. Now, the Indian army has come forth and given out a clarification. It is confirmed that all Indian soldiers who were involved in the skirmish with the Chinese at the Galwan Valley have now been accounted for. None of them has been described as missing in action. Now, the Chinese Foreign Ministry has also confirmed pretty much the same thing. It is said that currently there are no Indians who have been detained in China. Listen to this. <laughs> China and India are currently resolving relevant issues on the ground through dialogue via military and diplomatic channels. As far as I know, currently there are no Indian people detained in China. Meanwhile, there are some satellite images that have emerged. They reveal the build-up to the violent clash. They show as to how China has swiftly relocated heavy machinery and troops the site of the face-off. Now this was of course a panorama shot. We've divided it into three images for better clarity. Now on your screens is the first set of images. The first one is from the 9th of June, six days before the clash that took place in the Galvan Valley. The second one is from the 16th of June, the day the two sides clashed. There is no visible activity in the image on the 9th of June, but you can quite clearly see some debris and machinery at the same spot in the 16th. So let's scroll down a bit further. Again, no activity in the first image. The route appears to have been blocked. In the second image, however, the route has been cleared. You can see the access trails. You can also see some machinery as well, possibly disrupting the flow of water. And the last set of images, again, no activity on the 9th of June. The route appears less accessible. In the second image, however, you can see as to how the path has been completely cleared. And there are trucks, lots of them. And there are structures, probably makeshift camps. Now, what do these images tell you? That China came prepared. It came prepared for this face-off. It altered the landscape to make way for its troops. Now, it also widened the tracks to clear the way to make the river crossings. And then it decided to paint India as the aggressor. China has always had an advantage, but India too, it seems, is better prepared now for any possible incursion. And sources are telling us that the Indian Army engineers have also completed a 60-meter bridge over the Galwan River. The same bridge, which is said to have triggered China's aggression this time round. It's now complete and it will consolidate India's hold of this sensitive sector. 
It will allow the Indian infantry to not only move swiftly across the river, but also protect a strategic road, the road from Darbuk to Dalit Bek Oldi. It is 255 kilometers long. It is very important and it is now secure. So here's the thing. The tensions are high. They're still very high. Another phase-off cannot be ruled out. The sources say that frequent phase-off do not necessarily mean an intelligence failure, nor do they indicate bad relations between India and China. What they mean is a better ability to monitor, detect and respond to PLA activities. Now, India has fast-tracked road development at the border in recent years. In 2014, the government passed an order that allowed the BRO, the Border Roads Organization, to construct infrastructure within 100 kilometers of the LAC without having to seek repeated clearances. Now, this, of course, has resulted in better connectivity for Indian forces. The government says that India will continue to build roads, and that, of course, is upsetting China in a bad way.